Hey viewers, my name is Kara, and today I have a review video for you. I have partnered with one of my favorite companies, Glad Rags, who sent me some of their products to show you, and I'm also going to talk to you about why I chose to use Glad Rags. So, if you don't know, Glad Rags is a company that provides reusable menstrual products. So it's more eco-friendly, it's more healthy for your body, etc. Let's get into the stuff, and I'll explain it as we go. So let's unpack. So here we have our little display of goodies and also a little informational card and pamphlet about the cloth pads. So let's start with the cloth pads because that tends to be something that people can't really wrap their head around. Why would you use a cloth pad? I've been using reusable menstrual products for a couple of years now. I've sort of lost track, but I really like the cloth pad idea from an economic standpoint as well as an environmental standpoint and also the standpoint of getting to know my body a little bit more. Now I know everyone's body is different, everyone's relationship with their body is different, so as I continue through this video, if anything I'm saying you feel really deeply does not apply to you, that's because it's from my personal experience. But if it's something that calls to you that you want to try, I encourage you to do so. And if you have any questions, I'm sure that either the Glad Rags company or someone else who's been using reusables, maybe not me if we don't have the same experience, but other people might be able to help you out as well. And I can certainly try, of course. So the first thing, these two boxes on the sides here are cloth pads and they also provided this little pamphlet which has some frequently asked questions about the reusable cotton pads such as how to use them you put them on just like any other disposable pad now I know not everyone uses pads either so these are not equivalent to tampons these are like pads which a lot of people don't like because of how bulky they feel and how not breathable they are because they're made with plastic compounds and all that whatever technology that they put in there to make it absorb moisture and take it away from your body is all really non-breathable so it can get really uncomfortable you can get itchy but also I think most people complain about them because they feel like you're wearing a diaper because they're too thick which was never an issue for me I much preferred that outer security to the inner security of a tampon we'll get on to that kind of stuff but so I really like the idea of cloth pads and they're really easy. You wear them the same way. They actually snap around. I'm going to go ahead and open this one and show you. This is a colorful panty liner. Actually, before I even get started with this, I want to take a minute to say how much I appreciate where Glad Rags has come in the past year or so. Because when I first ordered my kit from them, my menstrual cup kit, which came with some other things, I'll show you some in a little bit, they had not a lot of fancy packaging. There was not a lot in the box other than my kit which came with a bunch of different things, I'll tell you. And I'm pretty sure it came in a compostable, looks like plastic but isn't plastic bag, which I thought was really cool. But at first I was really confused because I thought it was plastic. I was like, oh, I feel weird, like I'm doing good things for the environment, but it's in this plastic bag. But then it was like, no, it's compostable, which I had never seen before, which is really cool. But all this time later, they have new products, they have new designs, and look at how awesome this packaging looks. I did an exclusive unboxing video when I first got this box for my patron sponsors on patreon.com slash cutewitch772 which I accidentally made public for a little bit so some of you may have seen it so that's the kind of stuff you miss if you're not sponsoring my patreon but anyway this packaging just blew me away because it's so different than the last thing I saw and I think it's so cool and obviously it's recyclable and probably recycled as well so the boxes have all this different information on them there's some basic information on how to use them on this side, what it is, and for how heavy the flow is. So a panty liner just has one little droplet here. On this side, it talks about the company, what it is, and then on the back, it describes the different types of pads that you can get. So you got your panty liner, you've got your day pad, which is for regular medium flow use, and that's this here. And then you can also get night pads, which are longer and bigger and a little bit more absorbent for your heavy times or overnight if you like that extra security. So they do have all of those different sizes and options just like the disposable kinds, but they're reusable, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and open this. I haven't opened these yet because I wanted to wait. Okay. Oh, and another little pamphlet. I love these. A little user guide. Glad rags are easy to use. 
goes through a lot of this same information. Also some information on how to clean it, which I'll talk about in a second as well. Proudly plastic free, highly absorbent, making a waterproof backing unnecessary. Plastic barriers trap moisture and can cause chafing, irritation, and odor. All cotton breathable pads are better for your body and for the environment. And then there's a little note about staining and how to treat them, how to clean them. Let's just look at it. So this is a design that I do not already own. So super cute. They have sort of two layers. So there's your center section and then there's this other section that goes across the back that's actually got snaps on it. So what you do is you place this in the middle of your panties or whatever you want to call what you're using providing that you are wearing them, which, yes, this product presupposes that you are wearing underwear. So for those of you who don't like to, I have a product for you in a little bit that might be a little bit better. But anyway, and then you fold these flaps underneath your underwear and snap it underneath to hold it in place. So that's how it stays in place instead of like sticky tape material. And then, of course, once you use it and you want to definitely have multiple of these, especially depending on how much of the moisture you can handle. So I have a set of five that came with my kit and that's pretty much good for me for an entire cycle because again, we'll get to what I actually do later. I use multiple products together. But if you're just using these, you probably wanna have more. You wanna have maybe two or three per day of your cycle. So if you know how long your cycle usually is, how often you usually like to change your pads, make sure you have that many. Otherwise, all you do is do a load of laundry in the middle of your cycle and then you can reuse them again. So yeah, you just put them in the laundry. The kit that I got actually came with a little stain remover stick, but even if you don't have that, any of your typical laundry situation is fine. And you run it under cold water because that's what you use for blood. Cold water, not warm, because warm will set the stain. And they recommend that you either rinse or soak them in cold water first if you want to. Machine wash cold using a natural detergent, tumble dry low, or line dry. Don't use bleach or fabric softener. Hand wash them. I've hand washed mine too when I had sort of a heavier flow and I needed to have some extra ones before I was ready to do a full load of laundry. I hand washed them. They come out not quite as soft because they're not becoming fluffy but they're still totally clean and usable. Some people also like to keep a bucket somewhere in the bathroom during their cycle to soak the pads before you launder them. And then you can actually use that water in your garden to go along with your fertilizer, which I have done. This might also definitely appeal to the pagans and those of us who really like to do herbal gardening and any, any kind of gardening that involves, you know, using what you are making for your magic. Or this is just kind of a nice way to connect with your garden. So I've done that. So this is the panty liner. It's a lightweight and this one happens to be a fancy color. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this back in here. Boop, 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 boop. And then we're gonna go on to the day pad, which is slightly bigger. It's for kind of regular, slightly heavier flow. This would be like the medium it or heavier days. And this one that they sent me is actually one of their organic cotton that is undyed. So this is the exact same little pamphlet in here. And this actually on the side says, Oh yeah, they both do. They recommend that you change them every two to six hours as needed, which again will just depend on your body. So this is an organic cotton day pad. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger and it comes with two removable inserts. This one is undyed cotton, organic cotton, no dyes, no fancy, whatever, which I know the first thing you're thinking is it's like white. It's gonna show the stains really bad. It's gonna show stains, but you know what? Who's gonna see it really other than you? The ones that I have, the panty liners that came with my kit are purple with black polka dots. It's their design that's called Violet Femmes. Yes, I got it partially for that reason. And they do sell red ones. You can just go ahead and get red ones if that appeals to you. I think that's really cool because having the red color right up against where your root chakra is anyway. It's that root chakra color. It's going to add to that energetic flow. So you can totally do that. But if you like something like this, just, you know, the stains will come out most of the time. My old day pad actually just has like a very slight, you can sort of tell where the stain was, but it's really not that bad. But anyway, otherwise, again, who's going to see them but you? Maybe your roommate, somebody in your family. So anyway, what you do with these is you can actually just wear this plain like this, and at which point it's about the same thickness of the panty liner. Or it's got this flap here. You go ahead and put in one or 
If you really want a lot of protection that day, you can put in both of these, put them in here, fold those over, and then this part goes down and snap around. Now this does feel a little bit thicker. This might start feeling a little bit more like a diaper, like some people say. I personally wear really tight biker shorts anytime I'm on my period anyway, so it helps hold it very close to my body and it never feels uncomfortable. It's not slipping around. It doesn't feel too big because I already have that layer holding it on there. And it just, it just makes me feel a lot more secure knowing that I don't have to worry about it. That's a habit that I started back when I was using disposables and I still do that when I use reusables. So again, I love the idea that these are more eco-friendly. I love the idea that I'm not spending money every month buying a new pack of disposable plastic things that are just meant to kind of hide a natural thing that my body goes through and then I have to throw them away and I have to buy more the next month. Like, that's ridiculous. I'd much rather do some laundry and I just throw it in with my regular load of laundry. So I'm not doing any more laundry than I normally would. And like I said, I hand wash them if I really have to. But this last thing here, this is a totally different animal. This is a game changer. This is a menstrual cup. You may have heard of them by many other brand names. There are many brands that make these. This one is called the XO Flow. The one that I've had for the past year or so, year or more now, that I've been using is actually a different brand name that Glad Rags was selling at the time, but it's the exact same product essentially mine just looks a little bit different so this is a brand new one that's never been used that they sent me to show you I did tell them that I use the cup so they sent me this to show you and the idea with this and this is what I said this might be a little more appealing for those of you who use tampons because this is an internal type object oh good and it did come with a cute little bag just like my old one and when I say old I got it like a little over a year ago and these things are good for you know they say you can use them for 10 years if you take care of them well and clean them properly and don't you know mistreat them they will last a super long time and just think how much money you're saving not having to buy disposable things every single month or you know twice a month if you buy like a big enough pack whatever you don't have to spend money over and over and over you invest in these and they'll last you years like crazy this has a little starter guide with it as well it has directions for how to use it uh, how to insert it ways to remove it and um, some basic little diagram of one of the methods for folding it to insert it how where you place it yeah so let's talk about the menstrual cup. Came with this cute little breathable reusable bag. I love it. My old one that they sent me is actually purple, which is my favorite color. Not that they knew that. But so this is for the cup that I currently use. This is the new one. Super cute. Breathable cotton. So this is what you store it in when you're not using it. Mine's not in there, obviously. I left it in the bathroom just because I figured you wouldn't want to see that one. And here we have the cup. Now this one... I think only comes in one size. The one that I had before actually came in two sizes, one slightly bigger than the other for people who had already experienced a vaginal birth. You might need one a little bit bigger. These, I think, come in one size. Okay, so this is the same basic situation. It actually has fewer holes than the other one that I used. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a basic. This part down here is like the equivalent of your tampon string. This is what you pull on at the end to get it out. So what happens with this is you fold it in whatever way works for you. I actually knew someone, I fold mine like this. I know someone already who uses one and they told me that I might need to look up different ways to do it. So I do mine like this so that it's really nice and tapered, but you can also just fold it like this. Ooh, this one's a little bit, this is brand new, so it needs to be broken in a little bit. I'm having trouble doing it, but there we go. You can fold it like that. So you can experiment with different folds and then you take that folded end, and that's actually what you insert, and then you let go, and it pops open and forms a suction ring in your vaginal opening. Number one thing I thought was going to happen when I first did this is I thought when it popped open it was going to hurt me. It doesn't. There's enough suction, and your muscles are strong enough down there that sometimes you feel a little, like, pop, but it's nothing. It doesn't hurt nothing. So also... I personally, I used to be a pure romance consultant, so this was kind of drilled into my head, and I definitely believe this, that you should never insert anything into your vagina without lubricant. So I actually still have pure romance brand personal lubricant, but any personal lubricant, I recommend you use that when you insert this. And what I do is I put a little bit of the lubricant on my finger. You can put a little bit on the outside of your vaginal opening if you want, just to help with that. But then I put it around the rim, and then when I fold it, then it's already lubricated. It 
it's much easier. I've tried to put these things in without it, and to me, it's not as comfortable. So, side note, I recommend lubricant. And then it pops open, forms a seal, and it collects any of your menstrual fluid. So, you don't have to worry about it soaking into any cloth things anyway. But then what I do, as I said, I use multiple products together, I wear one of the cloth panty liners along with it just for some extra security if I do leak or drip at all, which definitely happens more when you first start using it. There's kind of a learning curve. You gotta kind of figure out how it's gonna work for your body. And I notice it's different on different days. If I wait until I start bleeding to put this in versus if I know it's gonna come the next day and I put it in a day early, your body is very different different on those two different days so it will feel different. You'll learn all of that stuff as you go. I also use an app on my phone to track my cycle so I can tell when things are happening and I keep track of things and it's awesome. So all together this is all a really great way for me to get to know my body. So let's say you've got it full, you're wearing it, what you do is you reach up inside, pull this down, you can also use your muscles to push it out a little bit, trust me it works if you haven't tried it before, it does. Most of you have probably tried it before but some of you may not have. It works. You can push it down a little bit to the point where you can reach this part here and you want to pinch it at the bottom and that breaks the vacuum seal and you can pull it the rest of the way out. You can pull it and also push with your muscles. So then you have a cup of fluid, you pour it out into either the toilet or whatever you need to do. Usually I pour it into the toilet, that makes the most sense. And then you rinse this out. So I actually pretty much always end up being able to do this in a private single restroom where you have your toilet and your sink and you can just walk over to the sink, rinse it out, do your thing. I keep a little tiny travel thing of lubricant with me in my bag because what came with my kit that I got, I got it in a kit. I didn't just buy the cup, I bought the kit. So it came with a wet bag, which they also sell at Glad Rags. This is the one that I actually own, so they didn't send this to me new. This is mine. This is the design I picked, and it has a pocket in the front where you can keep clean things that you're going to use, and that has this zippered portion, which is where I have my little bag, and this is where you put any wet or used cloths, that cloth pads, that you want to take home to launder later. So you just throw them in there, zip them up, they're secure, it's waterproof, you can clean this out later, you can wipe it off, but probably nothing will happen because what you do is... Sorry, I'm kind of going all over the place right now as I'm remembering things. So let's say you've used this with the cup. Do, 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 do. Then you fold these pieces in, covering up the stained section. Fold and fold and snap it together. Then you have this cute little package here. And you toss this, you can if you're in a bathroom where you can go rinse this out or feel comfortable doing it. I mean, technically, you can do it anywhere. It just takes some confidence to go and walk up and rinse things out. You know, whatever. Throw this in your wet bag, zip it up, take it home. Boom. And then you would have a clean one in here that you would take out and put back on. But anyway, this, you would rinse out, clean it up. I keep my little thing lubricant, like I said, so you can re-lube it, reinsert it. I have never been in a situation where I have had to deal with this in like a public restroom where the sink is outside the toilets, but if you do, the only thing you really have to do is if you don't want to get out and rinse it out and try to get back in, especially if there's a line and you won't be able to get back in line to reinsert it after you rinse it, then you can wipe it out with some toilet paper just to clean it up as much as you need to and reinsert it and then clean it when you get somewhere else where you have the ability to do so. I have never come across that situation yet because, again, it's different for everybody. I have always been able to wait long enough to get either back home or to another private, like, single stall kind of restroom where I can just go ahead and do that. So I have done this in public places. It's just always been in one of those bathrooms that just has a toilet and a sink. So you can clean it up and do whatever you need to do. But yeah, then so cleaning it, like especially at home, when you're actually fully cleaning it out in between uses, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but there are these two little holes here, one on either side, and sometimes those get clogged. You want to clean those out, not with something sharp like a toothpick. I would use a Q-tip. Usually what I do is fold it from the inside like this. I use my little Q-tip, or I've actually used I keep a toothbrush behind the faucet of every sink in my house for cleaning. My mom always did that, and I'm finding out that not everyone has done that because not everyone who comes to my house knows what that's for, but that toothbrush is for cleaning things, and I have one specifically back there that I use to clean out the little holes in my cup because I just put the little bristles right over it and it cleans it out. But Q-tip or something similar works just the same. You just don't want to use anything sharp because you don't want to destroy it 
or rip it or tear it because that will destroy your vacuum seal and you won't be able to use it anymore and you'll have to get a new one and that'll be sad. I mean, it's always fun getting a new one, but you want these to last as long as possible. So that's really the only other thing you have to do when cleaning it out. And then it will get a little bit stained over time. It won't be this color forever. And then you can just rinse it in a tub of some baking soda and it comes right back to normal, like brand new. So they're really awesome. Let me just go back through, let me look at this stuff and see if there's anything else that I want to tell you as far as, you know, like being someone who's used it for a while. So yeah, there's a learning curve. You might experience some leakage at first, but I, I got used to it after a few months. You can't give up. Oh yeah, just the basic, like, getting used to it and like, what if it gets stuck and I can't get it out? Or what if I can't get it in? The key is to relax. Literally, relax your muscles. Because those muscles, your pelvic muscles, are super strong. You might not have an idea of this necessarily, but they are really strong. And if you are nervous and freaking out, and you're like, ah, I can't get it out, then you're gonna be clenching and contracting your muscles and tightening them up, and you're definitely not gonna get it out because you're holding on to it and trying to, no. You have to relax. So just, if that happens, just leave it alone, calm down, go back and try again. It will, it's not gonna go anywhere, just like a tampon, anything like that. It can't go anywhere. It's right there. Come back to it with a calm demeanor, relax, and like I said, you can use your muscles to help you push it out. You can also just completely relax. That'll be the easiest thing. I think that's everything and probably more than you actually wanted to know in this video, but I thought I would talk about the products themselves, why I love them, how you use them, just start to dispel a little bit of those worries and myths that you might have about them, such as like what if it hurts, things like what I thought, what if it gets stuck, what if this, that, and the other thing, what if I'm in a bathroom and I can't rinse it out in the sink, all that stuff. You are totally ready for this. You can do this. These cups are made of medical grade silicone also. I don't know if silicone allergies are a thing, but that's what they're made of. I will put a link in the description so you can check it out on their website. Look at all their different kind of things. They have multiple thicknesses and sizes for the cloth pads as well as the designs. They usually have some package deals going on. There's usually a sale for first time customers. So you can check out all of that stuff and use my link below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.